Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPad Pro 9.7 inch model A1673 Wi-Fi version needs to be iCloud free. It's been long since the last time I uploaded a video about iCloud removing with a hardware method. For those who doesn't know what it is, I'm going to explain everything in this video and before we even uh, before you even want to continue watching this video, uh, this one will include opening your iPad and of course you need to have Microsoft skills. And uh, yeah, it will be a very uh, fun video to make. And I guess now let's go and open the iPad and talk a little bit about this uh, iCloud remove method for those who are uh, new to this. So uh, let's jump in. Okay, if you are new to Teardown iPads, this one will be a help for you. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the hardware iCloud method uh, contains removing the NAND and reprogramming a new system configuration so it can be activated without iCloud. What is system configuration? System configuration is the serial number, Wi-Fi MAC address, and Bluetooth MAC address. Those three are responsible for activating your Apple device when Apple server is checking your activation status. So for those, for those people who will, uh, will tell me that, why can't we just use a purple moon? It's easier, right? Yeah, obviously, but when you have only one iPad with A9X CPU, which is this devil one, <laughs> the exploit is vulnerable, but using purple pro or other boxes, you cannot enter purple mode in this particular model. So that's why you need to remove the NAND and write the new system configuration. Uh, where can we buy those serial numbers? Obviously from AliExpress, but if you need one, please contact me on my social medias. I'll be glad to help. Also, just a little PS, uh, it's been long since I have removed iCloud using this method, and there's a lot of news that Apple patched this one, and a lot of iPad models, even Wi-Fi ones, but we have the solution, and before we get started, I'm going to show you the right serial numbers to buy for your iPad model. And of course, uh, before we forget, shout out to Shahid Ahmad, our friend from India, who helped me a lot with this one, and updated me about this solution.
So, before we finish everything and activate our iPad, I would like to talk about our little social media growing status. And by mentioning our, obviously I'm talking about all who supported me on YouTube and all my other social medias. Without you, I've been doing something else, I guess. So, thank you very much. And also, I'm hoping that you can join our group on Telegram. There is a lot of cool and great stuff to learn. And also, share your problems with uh, very talented people in the group. And also, don't forget to share the group itself uh, so we can expand more and more. And also, uh, if you have any problem regarding your Apple product or any uh, other smartphone, don't hesitate to ask. We respond immediately. And of course, follow me on Instagram and subscribe also to my Telegram group. It's like my little diary. There is a lot of uh, stuff to learn on a daily basis. And of course, all the links are in the description down below. Uh, so make sure... Uh, to check them out so as you can see our iPad is activated everything is doing okay I guess the activation screen the iPad has been activated successfully with the new serial number so I guess everything is working okay changing also uh, only changing the serial number will do the work will do the trick and the schedule that uh, supported for all iPads you can see in the beginning of the video and uh, I guess, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.